We just came off of one of the best fights this year, man, to determine light heavyweight dominance between two champions at the top of their division going back and forth, man. Momentum swinging during the fight. You know, the ebb and flow, that pendulum was going from here to here. It was one of the best fights. It surpassed the expectations for me. I thought it lived up to the hype for sure and surpassed that. But you know, just like the majority of y'all, when I heard the results, I was taken aback. I was perplexed, confused, befuddled. I mean, if you weren't in the live stream and you missed my face expression don't worry i heard fraser clark look the exact same way <laughs> if i tell you i'm good probably you will say i'm boasting if i tell you i'm no good you know one line <laughs> Yo, what's good, Box and Talk Gang? It's your boy, Dr. PGAGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. You know, we had a great car. Well, I thought it was a great car. You know, those are spots that Kado was a little shaky. You know, say Ben Whitaker. Much slower. You know, it was, look, it was a little shaky, a little disappointing, but for the most part, I thought the car was good. But even if it wasn't, the main event was phenomenal. I'm not going to bore y'all with the undercard, you know, because we're going to talk about that in the live stream. So y'all come through. But I will say this, man. I know I made a joke earlier about uh, Frazier Clark, man. Big salute to him. You know, I, I hope he recovers well. Well, I don't have to hope because he did recover well. He just had some surgery. Check this out right here. So he's okay. You know, the facial expression does look like the ring to me. You know how they looked after the Samara came out the TV screen? <laughs> yeah that's what he looked like but he's good though man that's what we all that's what we always want to see right the fighters come out healthy you know and, and be able to move on and move forward from that fight whether they win or lose but let's get back to the topic at hand, man dimitri bivol versus archer better be i thought it was a great fight like i said the momentum shifted from one to the other they both fought a phenomenal fight i you know i don't want to overshadow that with controversy even though that's what we like to do as a boxing society that's not what we like to do over here specifically but as a boxing community as a whole that's what we like to do and we and we just like to exaggerate you know be you know our emotions and stuff like that i heard somebody say that it was the biggest robbery in boxing in the last decade what i mean they really out here talking about it was the biggest robbery relax mr drama queen you dumbass what <laughs> it wasn't even the biggest robbery this year in fact i don't even think it was a robbery at all was it controversial yeah of course because you're gonna think this person won i'm gonna think this person won yes and you know but was was it a robbery no because to me a robbery implies that you can't imagine or, or, or you can't even make reason on how one person won and the other person lost. That's not true. This was a close fight. I could see how Bedrick B have won. I could see how Bivol could have won. Me personally, I scored it 7-5 or 115-113 in favor of Bivol. But, you know, the results were in Beterbia's favor. And I don't want to say that it was a robbery because I would overshadow and imply, like I said, that Beterbia didn't do enough to win or, or you can't imagine that he, how he won. Now, he came forward with forward aggression. He came forward with, with pressure. Was it always effective pressure? No. But Bivol, you know, when he was using his movement and stuff, was it always effective movement? And did he gas out at some points? Yes. So, you know, while he shined he kind of fell off a little bit too and i know he's going to regret uh, uh giving up that 11th round man i thought that was very crucial and better be if while he was looking a little shaky you know and and looking like bivol was outboxing him there was spots where he shined and caught him in pressure and caught him in exchanges too you know and i think bivol's face is indicative of that but better be if didn't leave unscathed either so i think that this fight was back and forth appropriate it was a, it was appropriate that it was back and forth it was appropriate that people were going to disagree and but i want to talk about one judge in particular that had the score 116 112 or eight rounds to four i do think that it's hard to believe that Bivol only won four rounds however like I said I had a 7-5 if you had this I had a 7-5 for Bivol if you had a 7-5 for Biterbiev I, I get it and if you do get it like one of the judges had 7-5 or 115-113 you realize that 8-4 to and 7-5 is only a one round swing <music> it's only a swing of run round and me personally I had four swing rounds on my scorecard damn I'm sorry. I had four swing rounds. So those of you that are unfamiliar with what the term swing round it means, it means that this round could have went either way, kind of like a swing state in voting, you know, that this this state could possibly go here, possibly go there. We're not exactly sure exactly where it's going to go. That's how what that's what a swing round is. Like I could lean towards this fighter, but you know, 
and I have a reason why this one edged it out a little bit, but I could see how somebody would interpret it in the other person's favor. So I had four of those swing rounds, and I had two of those swing rounds for Bivol and the other two for Beterbiev. Now, what if you gave all four of those swing rounds to Beterbiev? Then I could understand how you could possibly get 8 4 or 116 112 for Beterbiev. Like I said, I, I felt like initially, my initial reaction was that, man, I feel like Bivol won, you know? I don't feel like the right person won. However, I don't think. I acknowledge that boxing, you know, it is up to judges and there's three of them. And, you know, even if one had a bad, had a bad score or a score that we disagree with, there's two other judge, there's two other judges that you can appeal to, you know, that, 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 that your fighting style could appease throughout the course of the fight. And one called it a draw. The other one called it in favor of Beterbiev as well. So I just want to say, I think we need to pump the brakes on thinking that this was uh, a, a robbery it, is it controversial yeah of course you know we can have a discussion open dialogue but these are what great fights do a lot of times you know what's a decision the first time Beterbi has been the distance you know and Bivol you know this is the first time that he didn't clearly win a fight you know that it was kind of uh, uh questionable so i think this fight is great i would love to see a rematch i don't know if we're going to get a rematch but i don't want this fight to be overshadowed by people uh, uh, uh just, just just being nonsensical and, and, and exaggerating and overzealous with their proclamations of a robbery okay well so check I this out though first of all you throwing too many big words at me okay now because i don't understand them i'm gonna take them as disrespect mm. watch your mouth no Michaela Mayer versus Natasha Jonas was a robbery. Yeah. That's this year. Oshiki Foster versus uh, Robson Kasesau. That was a robbery. Yeah. That also happened this year. And you go out and go, 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 so on and so forth, and you can keep going. But I don't think this fight was any of those. I could see how Baturbi have won, and I think that he deserves a credit. And shout out to Bivol for giving him that credit. And but I felt like Bivol won, you know. And hopefully we get a rematch. But Bivol by no means was robbed, you know. Uh, Bivol took some rounds. He took that eleventh round off in particular. That I thought that was very crucial. I'm sure that he he will regret that. And and he's a consummate professional shout out to both of them man i thought better be if i don't want to say that he um it, it completely it completely had me confused as how he could win because how he could win because i thought i thought most appropriately it could have been a draw but i did have bivol win and i don't think that i do think the wrong person won but just because that's that just because i feel that way it's not solely on my interpretation. You know, somebody might value forward aggression. Someone might value controlling the real estate, the ring generalship. Somebody might value uh, making your guy miss and countering, you know. So it, 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 it matters on your preference. Now, these judges, they, they preferred the aggression, you know, and the forward aggression and the forward movement, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think it was a robbery at all. Big salute to Better Be Big salute to Bivol, man, because they both impressed me. If it wasn't for both of them working together against each other, then that, that night of boxing couldn't have been spectacular as it was. So it was very spectacular. I don't want it to be overshadowed by this that by the by this ridiculous uh um uh uh declaration of it being a robbery or the worst robbery of this decade it wasn't even the worst robbery this month and this month is only two weeks in <laughs> if you watch boxing you, and you and you count the the smaller cards the guys that you overlooked that also box you know it wasn't even the worst robbery this month but yeah i appreciate y'all as always let me know what y'all think about that in the comments do you think it was a robbery do you think i'm tripping do you think i'm being too nice do you think that there's no shot that be better be everyone do you think that there's no shot that beef all one let me know in the comments man i appreciate y'all but remember Remember, remember, with God, we can do anything without God, we're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. Don't forget to like the video. Yeah, man. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.